hey beautiful buddies welcome back to my channel if you're new and you know what to do please tap on that subscribe button it will mean a lot to me and if you ever find this video helpful make sure you share it with your friends and family and you know give it a thumbs up and if you don't like it give it a thumbs down if you want to comment anything down below please do so so on today's pillow talk topic i want to be speaking about feeling suicidal feeling suicidal is one of the most common feeling and the most common thing that a lot of people are currently experiencing in their lives you know when you're feeling suicidal it's first thing that you need to realize is that the way how you're going to feel suicidal and the way how the other person is going to feel is going to be completely different the way how you're going to react is not the same way how the other person is going to react you know suicidal feeling comes with you thinking that you want to end your life you want to you don't want to live you know your life you feel like your life has no direction sometimes you feel very numb you feel like there's no way out you feel like um no matter what what happens you're not going to receive any help when you're feeling suicidal sometimes you don't want to have communicate with people sometimes you could be feeling suicidal but you're always around people you're afraid to be alone you know when you're suicidal sometimes you want to be the center of attention you know to feel something with other people it could be a feeling that they can't understand with other people feeling suicidal is not being able to express themselves they don't know where to start they don't know what emotion to express. They don't know what they're feeling. They just feel horrible. They just feel uh, painful at the same time. At the same time, they just don't feel anything. You know, being feeling suicidal sometimes can feel like you're hurt. You're not hurt at the same time. Sometimes you want to scream, but at the same time, you're not feeling it. You know, you don't. Ha you lack motivation to do things in your life. You feel hopeless you feel you see darkness you feel numb at the same time so it's all these emotions that literally come you know you feel them all together you don't know what you feel it's so hard to express it to someone it's so hard to sometimes um talk it out like you don't even know what to what to say to people sometimes it's hard because you live in an environment that makes it hard for you to express yourself because either they're very judgmental they don't believe in these things there's like a lot of taboo with feeling suicidal some people might think that you're trying to grab unnecessary attention and there are a lot of things you know some people live in poverty some people are around people that are super biased and they're not helpful in any way in fact they live in environments where um, unhealthy communication patterns are adapted which makes it very hard for one to express themselves being a mental health counselor myself and before being one I did have a phase in my life where even I had experienced feeling suicidal and I didn't know what that feeling was because something like mental health was such a taboo back then it still is but it was worse like you know a couple years ago compared to right now the way how people are starting to be way more vocal about it and you know a lot of awareness is being built around mental health and you know mental health struggles and everything to do with that but the thing the point here is you need to understand that you're not alone if you feel alone you need to know that you're not alone there are people that love you okay the world is not against you as you think it is people don't think about you the way you think they think about you what people say the way how people think about you is not your responsibility you're responsible for your happiness if you feel like you're not experiencing the best things in your life you know start with one step at a time even though sometimes it feels very dark just do one positive activity a day it could be anything at all you know the thing is about our brain is even if you lie to our brain they don't know you're lying 
So if you're going to be doing an activity that boosts and excretes happy hormones inside your body and in your brain, you know, it will eventually help you to overcome your societal feelings and societal thoughts. So it starts with baby steps. People that overcame societal feelings, it didn't happen overnight. It takes a while because just like the way how it took a very long time for you to actually feel suicidal it's going to take almost the same time or even you know less than the time that you were feeling suicidal so it will take time to heal when you're feeling suicidal sometimes you tend to neglect yourself a lot you neglect your um, you know physical appearance you neglect how you eat your you know your nutrition you neglect your physical health overall you neglect how you are feeling emotionally because it's so hard to express yourself as i mentioned before to an extent that you find it very comfortable just you know escaping from it and disconnecting yourself from reality because at that point of time that's what discomfort feels to you if not consciously then subconsciously with other people when they're feeling suicidal they have a poor sleeping pattern with other people their relationship gets affected people get a lot of urges to harm themselves other people lack confidence other people's self-esteem lowers down so you know there's so many things that can happen when you're feeling suicidal but always know that no matter how hard it is there's always a solution to everything you're feeling everything you're going through because in the end of the day if you give in to your trauma it will just affect you yes there is a phase in your life where you're going to feel that way but that doesn't mean that it's the end of your life and it doesn't mean that you're alone you'll always have someone that loves you and is willing to be there for you that person should start with yourself you should be the first person to love yourself if you don't truly love yourself start doing activities that will eventually lead you to loving yourself there's always going to be one thing that makes you happy or makes you feel good even if it's for just one minute do that thing okay and eventually if, once your brain starts feeling good you will want to do it more but make sure the activities you're doing are not activities that will self-sabotage you if you ever feel like you need um, you know professional help you can always um, approach counselors and therapists you know these are are people who are willing to be there for you with you know to help you overcome your societal feelings and they are going to use a very holistic approach to help you heal so currently i myself i am a mental health counselor and if you feel you need any type of healing or you need to heal from any mental health struggle please make sure to contact me this is my whatsapp number here down below so do not hesitate guys i hope this video has helped someone out there and it has has provided the courage that one needs from their mental health struggle if not even like you know fully but like a bit so if you guys ever need someone to speak to make sure you use that number and whatsapp me and you can always reserve your sessions with me thank you guys for watching my video till the end hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe